Welcome to the Calyrex Game Corner's Pokemon D&D campaign, featuring Cindy, a young vagabond from the Hoenn region with pyromaniac tendencies, Gimli, a stocky, burly miner from Sinnoh looking for his lost son, Elodie, an enthusiastic foodie and baker from Kalos, and Schmidt, an enigmatic man from Johto with a duck. My name is Rich, and I'm the Game Master, and this is Dunsparce and Drampa. You've made it past the, the rocky cliffs into Route 113. This is a very interesting route. Soot is constantly falling, like rain. It is very interesting. Something oh. leads you to believe that when Mount Chimney erupts, the natural air currents of Hoenn tend to deposit all the soot right here. And as a result, it is also very lush. There are still rocky cliffs all around you, and there's a desert nearby. However, the plant life here is incredible. It is thriving. It must have something to do with the volcanic soil. Um, this is just kind of like a nature path. There appears to be one domicile further down the way. But besides that, you, there are just sounds of wild Pokemon wrestling in grass. Does anyone have any certain things that they wish to do here while they're here? I personally don't mind carrying on unless someone wants to check out the nature. Yeah, I think I'm good. All the ninja kids are, of course, trapped with you because Key Lime is out. How is Elodie just like holding Key Lime in front of her? Or like, how is this working? Like the arena trap's just going. Yeah, she's just holding Key Lime. Okay. Uh, and uh, Key Lime's just making the arena trap happen. Cool. Key Lime doesn't even really know exactly like what's going on. Like Key Lime's just kind of existing and being like, oh, I guess I am doing a thing. That's interesting. Just very natural for Key Lime. Uh, I'm assuming Schmidt's gotten off the ground, is no longer curled up in the fetal position. Is falling apart. Reluctantly, but yes. Reluctantly. Cool, cool, cool. Cindy, roll of perception. All right. Perception 16. 16. You see the ninja kids. They are looking at a certain alcove here on this route, and you can see that two, one of them is like making funny hand gestures and two of them are standing on either side of them. Uh, it's Yosef actually, who's like gesturing just out into the, into the distance, just uh, towards the Northern right direction. If there's a recipient of these, you don't know, but you witness some sort of hand signal communication happening. Uh, is the hand signal a communication I'm familiar with, or is it like made up ninja hand gestures from this group of kids? I could have you roll for it. The check would be super high. But uh, if you want to, it'd be funny. Sure. Okay. Yeah. What, do... what model? I got a four. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. I know nothing. Yeah. You cannot interpret it. You think it's a language. Maybe they're just playing a game. You don't know. I do point this out to the party. I'm like, hey, uh, that looks a little sus. Can I roll insight on the, the nature of the hand gestures? The nature of them? A nature like, are they or... trying to... I, more like are they trying to like summon more oh. of their buddies to get them out sure. or like yeah make, like make that's it. that's what I mean like insight yeah do an insight check uh, eleven eleven you're not really sure you cannot tell what the intention is well I do let the party know what's happening okay do they care uh I feel like we should I don't want to deal with it but it's a problem. <laughs> Does anybody want to like perceive more about it? Can we just intimidate the kid? Yeah, I was gonna say, can we get? I mean, like Gimli can like ask them, and they're pretty afraid of him. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Boy, what's all those hand gestures there? Is this a conversation, or do you wish to intimidate? Intimidating them. Okay. Like I know they're up to something. Like yeah. Um. Uh, Fourteen. Okay. Yeah. You startle one of them and they say, uh, uh, n nothing. And then Yosef says, it's not your business, old man. The ninja clan has their ninja way. Just you wait and see. They're very defiant all of a sudden. All right, so they're up to something. <laughs> they, they got back up and they think they're hot shit. They cannot leave my magical entrapment, though. Like, But could more people come in? Yeah. It's okay. a, a one-way door type thing. Can I look where they were making the hand gestures and see if I see anything? Absolutely. Is that perception? Yeah, you don't know what you're looking at, so that would be perception. 
18. 18. Yeah, you see out in the forest, the very lush forest, it looks like there's a treehouse. There's a little construction out there, and that seems to be the direction that they were signaling. You do not happen to see any individuals, though. Just yell out into the distance, like, what's happening to your parents, too? <laughs> uh, yeah, it echoes throughout the, the cliffs, but no particular reaction. The, Yosef is just kind of smiling. He thinks that he's he's done something clever. <laughs> I uh, guess we continue walking them home. Okay. Uh, just look out for things like pitfalls or the net traps or whatever. Yeah, fair. Basic ninja things. Okay. You continue on the route? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. As we're walking, can I, like, I don't know, make a perception check to, like, actively perceive any traps? Sure. Yeah, do it. God, my rolls when they matter don't. That's uh, so just a 10. Okay. Yeah, you don't really notice anything in particular. Um, as you're walking up some steps, continue the route. Uh, let me see. Elodie, give me a perception. Got it. Uh, 17. You notice all five. No, there's eight of the kids, right? Because we trapped them. Oh, three, uh, three ran away, right? Oh, yeah, three, yeah, three got yeah. away before they ran trap. That's correct. All five of the kids, um, they they keep walking with you. They're still compliant, but you notice all of them don hoods. So they they pull their cloaks over their hoods at the same time, and they look hmm. downwards. I don't want to deal with whatever bullshit's about to happen. Uh, why are you guys pulling your uh, hoods up? Yosef says. Wouldn't you like to know? Pocket sand! Yeah. <laughs> and he throws pocket sand at Elodie right in her face. And she has, Dude, what to, the heck? she has to make a constitution save. It's a DC 10. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I got an 11. 11? Cool, yeah. You get sanded in the face, but it's not too bad. As he pocket sands, all the little ninja kids hop on the ground and they put their face in the dirt. And uh, you notice as the soot above you starts to feel a little bit heavier. Roll constitution saves all of the people and Pokemon, please. Oof. So. Just me. Let's see. I would assume everyone else is away except for Larvastar because he's in my bag. Yes. So I got a six. and okay. Larvastar got a 14. Okay. Would uh fifteen. Fifteen for Gimli? Yes. Okay. Aubergine also have to make one. She's in my basket. She's in your basket? What's your basket like? Describe it. Uh like a a a bag, like a basket. Okay. Um yes, <laughs> so it's got a it's cover. like a closed picnic basket yeah, or it's closed, like an open like okay. It has a cover? Yes. Okay, we're we'll say Aubergine's immune. It's fine. Okay, cool. All right. Then I got an eight and Key Lime got a 17. Okay. Schmick got an 18. Quacko got an 11. Okay. And Sam. Sam failed. Okay. This was a DC 15 constitution save. <laughs> um, Cindy, Elodie, Quacko, and Sam lose their ability to move. They oh. feel completely stunned or paralyzed. Um, the other remaining people being uh, Gimli, Keylime, Schmidt, and uh, Larvastar. They may look upwards and notice that a moth is flying around and dropping spores on them. Uh. And you hear in the distance, I told you this wouldn't be the last time you messed with Calvin. And a boy... Walks out of the woods. A very familiar oh. one. He oh, locks eyes with Schmidt. God. And he points at Schmidt and he says, Our business hasn't finished yet. Venomoth, you sludge bomb. And he's going to have Venomoth attack Schmidt here. Uh, let's see. What's Schmidt's armor class? Uh, what is oh. that's a good question? Uh, he, he crit. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter then. Um, let's see. 
roll this damage. How much HP does Schmidt have currently? Uh, 44. Okay, cool. I don't think he's going to kill you with this. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. Th- th- Kelvin <laughs> kills Schmidt. Oh my god, can you imagine? Uh, that is a whole 16 points of poison type damage, and Schmidt feels sick. As Great. the sludge covers his face, and uh, it's really bad, actually. Um, and Calvin says, You thought you could mess with my new friends? This is the last time that you mess with me. And he's standing there posturing, and his little uh, venonat has clearly evolved and uh, floating above you and dropping spores. If no action is taken, those who did not uh, succumb to the stun spore will have to make another constitution save as Venomoth is preparing to drop some more spores. Also, excuse me, um, the five ninja kids spring out of action and they are just like running around <laughs> all of the people and uh, everyone who's been stunned, Cindy and Elodie and Sam, they are tying their wrists together. Oh my God. You guys get tied. Yeah, you get tied <laughs> These up. Children mean business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can the larva star like fire the, the ropes? Uh, yeah, larva star can try. This is going to be pretty uh, dexterous thing for a baby to do, but it's possible. Yeah. Well, because he's in or larva star's in my bag, kind of poking out. So okay, so he'd be like point blank for Cindy, right? Yeah, yeah. He still has to dex it, but yes. Come on, try. larva star. Uh, it's a fifteen on the dice. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, that's good enough. He singes the ropes enough where if Cindy could move, uh, she'd be able to break free. But she's still currently stunned at the moment. Great. Uh, I'm gonna pull out Good, uh, Zanya and Trevor again, and we're we're machine gunning this venom <laughs> off. Okay, go for it. Trevor first, rock blasting. I want Elodie to say what she wanted to say though. Okay, oh. yeah, you can. Are we? Um, <clears throat> could Aubergine go for a copycat with the stun spore? Ooh, yes, absolutely, Ooh, yes. <laughs> okay, I'll do that first, and it, it, <laughs> it will go first because of prankster. I don't think we're initiative yet. I don't think we need yeah. to. Okay. Cool. Um, I do not have the stuff for stun spore, so. Oh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I, um, I do not know what to roll for that. Yeah, that would be me. Um, I think I know, but give me a second just to make sure. No worries. Sounds like it's sending out a, a check for a DC 15 con save. Yeah, I mean, yes, that is correct. The, wow. The, the con save is built on the Pokemon that uses it, though. So, mm-hmm. um, what is what is this based on? Hold on. Okay, it's based on either wisdom or yeah, it's based on wisdom. So what's Aubergine's wisdom score? Plus two. Okay, so it's uh, DC fourteen on. Nice. It's targeted on the Venomoth. Anyone else? Can I target it on the kids too? Yeah, that's reasonable because it's like kind of a column. We'll imagine that Aubergine just kind of like does the cat flip thing and it also like flips into the <laughs> air and it kind of summons a, a fascinating prankstery power where it is able to duplicate a move that has occurred and sprinkle spores vertically onto hostile targets. So Venomoth saved. I'm going to roll for each individual kid, I suppose. Uh, Yosef saved. Kid two failed. Kid three really failed. Kid four crit. Kid five failed. So two of the ninja kids, or I should say, three of the ninja kids are also now stunned. Venomoth and Yosef and one other ninja kid are still moving around. Um, I heard rocks were coming. Yeah, so Trevor shoots out rocks at the Venomoth. Uh, does a 13 hit? Um, It does not. Lasagna will do the same, and Lasagna gets even worse, so that does not hit. Dang. Very close. Yeah, those are um, bad rolls. It's not enough, unfortunately. I want the stunned humans and Quacko to retry their con saves, uh, and then we probably will do just a quick initiative, I think. It seems like it would be a short battle. Yeah. Cindy, Ellie, Quacko, and Sam. I have to roll for Sam. Uh, Sam fails. I failed again. Yeah. 
Still stuck. Fail. Okay, Quacko? Quacko also failed. Wow. Everyone who was stunned is still stunned. That's kind of crazy. Okay, let's get some initiative going. Just a quickie. My rolls are fast tonight. All of our initiative is real bad. Oh, wow. I'm assuming that Schmidt has higher decks than Gimli, correct? Yes. Okay. I forgot to roll for Sam. Okay. Um, the baddies go first. Calvin thinks for a moment and he decides to try and get positioning. Um, gosh, how are we going to do rules for Arena Trap here? Because we're in a new combat. But it never returned to the Pokeball. And it's been active, so I want to say Arena Trap's still going. Does that sound right? Does that sound fair? Yeah, that's what yep. we were using to keep the okay, cast yeah. Yeah. trapped in as well. Yeah, I would say until it returns to its Pokeball or it gets knocked out, uh, it will keep that ability. So Calvin looks to reposition and then notices, what? I, I can't? And there's like a little wall. He entered it, but he cannot escape. Um, Listen here, Calvin. Once we lock eyes, we have to battle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm giving you inspiration. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's really good. That was amazing. Yeah, that's very good. (laughs) He huffs and he puffs and he is just going to charge his body at Schmidt. Oh my god. God. Um, You're really trying to kill you. This is a a street fight, yeah. Uh, An unarmed (laughs) strike with a natural 19 should connect. Oh my god. Okay. (laughs) I need to Calvin out for blood. Uh, Yeah. Schmidt's also still poisoned, correct? Yes. Okay, um, we'll just calc that on the turn, I think. He's a child, uh, so his strength isn't that good, but he's a ninja now, so his dex is pretty good. Okay, cool. With no weapons, he should be dealing this amount. So let me roll it. Um, charges into Schmidt, pushes him over, dealing eight points of damage. Uh, maybe not pushes him over, but like knocks him. He's not prone or anything, but he, he charges basically into Schmidt's waist because Schmidt is very tall. Okay. Um, Schmidt's feeling sick, right? Yeah, doesn't feel great. Can Schmidt throw up on him? <laughs> uh, you can <laughs> fail a con check. If I fail a con yes. check, hell yeah. You Yeah, if you do too well, you're going to keep it in. God damn it, I rolled an 11. Uh, yeah, you feeling queasy. Maybe you like spit a little bit, but you're, you don't, do not vomit. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. That would have been a great reaction, though. <laughs> Reacts by vomiting on If it. you really want to, you probably want to save it because you have inspiration, but you could use that inspiration negatively. <laughs> I would offer that if it's worth it to you <laughs> to get this vomit off, but maybe it's not. Uh, I no, I'll save it. I'll okay. save it. Cool. Um, <laughs> Venomoth. What's Venomoth doing? Let me decide. I think it's just going to go for another sprinkling. It's going to sprinkle some more spores. Um... The ninja kids realize this, and uh, three of them are stunned, but Yosef and his friend tuck back into their cloaks, and everyone, including Calvin... I will white guard that. Oh, yikes. a new encounter, so that does not fail. Um, That's correct. You're right. How much PP do you have left? There's got to be one left, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, The it's not typically a spread move, but how it's using in this flavor it is, so... Yep. Uh, Dwebble's magical gemmy wall of protection arises this time horizontally to block the spores from falling from above and wouldn't you know it no one gets spored very impressive Brave. yeah Yosef and his friend are just going to try and be disruptive um, Yosef is going to make a couple checks as part of this combination attack um, he eyes at Gimli he's going to make a stealth check he gets a 7 that's not a pass and he is going to attempt to tie his feet together with a dex check of a 10. I'm going to say that barely does not succeed. Uh, well, let's do a contested dex. I think that's better. I think that's better flavor. Just got to beat a 10. Should be fine. Yeah, well, you think, but uh, 13 does beat it. So. Okay, cool. That does work. Um, Yosef does not successfully tie his feet together. And then Can I grab him? As a reaction? Yeah. Uh, yes, it'll be a high check. Oh, yeah, because we failed his stealth, so... That's true. Kind of saw him coming. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, you yeah. Can, we can call it strength. That's fine. Uh, tw- uh, dirty 20? Okay, yeah, you got him. 
Right. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Enough of this. We're taking you home. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He's uh, he's scared. Uh, I'm gonna make a con check for P. Uh-huh. He crit it, so he's fine. <laughs> okay. He will not pee himself. Him. Yeah. He's holding it in. Um, yet. <laughs> yes. He's not peeing yet. Um, he's still feeling defiant. Uh, the other kid. What's the other kid gonna do? Um, he. With everyone like stunned, it's very interesting. I think he's gonna hide. He's gonna make a stealth check. He crit it. Two crits in a row. Very cool. Yeah, he unbeknownst to any of you, he just seems to have disappeared. He clearly has not left the arena trap, but he is snuck somewhere. Who knows where? Okay, that's all the baddies. Uh, I think it's Elodie's turn to try and break free from being stunned. Got it. We'll say that the check diminishes huh. as time passes, so we'll give this to you for 13, Vaughn. Uh, no, I rolled a 2, so uh, that's going to be a no. Still stunned? Still d- tied wrists? Um, yes. Augies. Sam is going to see if she breaks. Gets a 2. This stun spore is really <laughs> effective. That's crazy. Very powerful. Yeah. Um, now it's Schmidt's turn. Wait, where did I put Cindy? Oh, Cindy... Uh, did I get initiative from Cindy? Five. Uh, That's yeah. Good. Sorry, Cindy goes here. This is Cindy's turn. Great. I need to roll to get out of my uh situation. Yes. Oh, nineteen. Nineteen. Good. And your wrists are not bound, so you're able to get up, and you may do a thing. You see that this boy has tackled uh, Schmidt. Mm. I guess burning the children is frowned upon, right? Uh, this is your world that you're playing in. You can do whatever you want. You too are also a child. That's true. <laughs> um, Cindy is going to send out solely. Okay. And we're going to have solely use flamethrower. Okay. In the direction of. Oh, is Calvin touching Schmidt or is there like space between him and Schmidt? Yeah, so all this discussion happens in a matter of a few seconds. So he's either just made contact with Schmidt or it's been like half a second since he's made contact with Schmidt. Okay. So we're going to have the the 40 foot cone not touch Schmidt. Okay. (laughs) But hit, like, try to hit Calvin and uh, Venom off. Okay. And if the child who's hiding is caught in the cone, then he's caught in the cone. This is Flamethrower? What is this? Flamethrower, yeah. Okay. Even though That's it's been it. a couple of weeks for us, Soli is still exhausted. Um, yeah. It's been not enough time to recover from that, so I'm going to give them advantage on their saves. The DC 14 dex. Okay. So, Venomoth is above you. Mm-hmm. So, who are you targeting again? It I'm is... sorry. Yeah, Venomoth's above Ideally, you. Ideally, like Calvin and Venom. I mean, Venomoth is like the main target. It's okay. Like- 40 foot cone though right it is a 40 foot cone like is Venomoth over 40 feet above calvin no but calvin is Soli's gonna have to walk right up next to calvin basically which i guess works but yeah sure yeah we don't have a map so that's fine not it's Venomoth is not 40 feet above but it's above like calvin is horizontal to you all and Venomoth yeah. is vertical to you all yeah, yeah. If you aim at Calvin, you're shooting a cone straight out. You're not in the air. You, it's not a yeah. dome. It's right. a cone. Right, right, yeah. right. So it's just directly in front of you, or if you aim at Venomoth, it would be directly above you. Right. But it's not going to hit okay. Calvin on the way in. That's not how cones work. Uh, cones are like triangular-ish, so it goes out. I guess I'm confused on the which part of the cone is 40 feet. It's like the length of it. Okay. Yeah. I, I would assume that, so like the circle part at the bottom of the cone about yeah. how big are we talking oh gosh because that's the part i thought was 40 like, feet yeah what is D math it's definitely the distance because you're supposed to be thinking about it vertically like from a bird's eye view like that's the 40 foot cone but as far as the diameter of a 40 foot cone i don't know let me see i'm sure someone's asked this question before the cone extends in a width equal to its length okay Great. So it's forty feet by forty feet. Yep, that's crazy. So but yeah, um, so so we. Yeah. I have to consider the arena trap right now too. If we're going to assume that Ralts is in the middle of mm-hmm. this battlefield, can Soli get far enough back? Yes, Soli is going to be kind of on the edge of the arena trap. She's going to have to go 
25 feet, according to my brain and my map. Does that make sense? Can we agree with that? Okay. So let's say, does she want to go east or west? Doesn't really matter. No, she has to go west because she has to... She Okay. <laughs> math. Soli's going to move 25 feet west and then cast flame throw in a 40-foot cone enough to hit Calvin and Soli and precisely not hit Schmidt? You're going to hit Schmidt. Yeah, there's no way you don't. Okay, we get DC 14 deck save with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Are you ready, Schmidt? Friendly fire? <laughs> Have to. Okay. Uh, you have advantage. Venomoth passes. And uh, the Calvin does not. Calvin's getting burnt. Schmidt, what'd you get? My answer. I I, I think you failed, right? Uh, yeah. With okay. advantage. Yeah. Um, humans. Yeah. I okay. I've been I've been calculating human damage Humans's to be a half. half. Right. That's correct. But Schmidt's okay. been taking some damage, so yeah. I'm, I'm a little yeah. worried about him right now. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> So roll your damage. So 17 damage. Okay. On a fail. So anybody who failed. Or any Pokemon who failed. 17 damage. Okay. Yeah, so. So it's half that for Schmidt. And Venomoth passed, but it's super effective. So it's going to be 17. Um, Also, if you failed by five or more, you're burned. (laughs) Did you fail by five or more? Schmidt? Um. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, Does burn good, good stack idea, on then. poison <laughs> or? No? Uh, it's because it's D and D. I think we're gonna stack it. I think. Uh, yeah. I think Schmidt needs a hospital. Uh, what What kind of berries do I have? Uh, help me with math, real quick. Yeah. Half the seventeen. Are we rounding up or down? We round down. We round down. Okay. So that's eight. Eight. Guys, yeah. Schmidt has twelve HP, and he's burned in poison. Yeah, I he's a... oceans. But those are for Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Cindy does have berries. I don't know if she has a berry that heals poisoning or burn. Okay. Um, Calvin did fail, but not by five or more. But he's going to take that full uh, damage. And he's hurt. He has burns. Uh, not not doing well. Also, Quacko is paralyzed. <laughs> yeah, that too. Um. That's the world that we live in. Uh, is there anything else for Cindy? I shouldn't. Um, can I... What? I feel like at the very beginning I was given like a berry bag, but it wasn't like determined what was in it. Um, Unless we did. We I definitely have a did. I do have two lumberries that I know. I have a lum, a Ross, and an orange. Yeah. Yeah, I have a lumberry. I can actually cure and heal him. I think we we all have a lumberry because my turn's coming up next, and I can eat it. Okay. Okay. Because I I wouldn't be able to do anything else because Quacko's paralyzed, and I got to roll for that. (laughs) Cool. Okay. Um, Cindy's turn is done. She does like finger guns. Like, (laughs) sorry. Oh my god. (laughs) Jesus. Oh wow. Okay. And Um, after we did all that agreeing today. I was trying to hurt Calvin. Look at how sure hurt he, he is. You used your super tired nine tails. Who really deserves a break? <laughs> I've given her a break on allies. every other. Encounter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used her for every other encounter, but I needed more spread to hit the venomoth too. Okay, I want Ellie to make an intelligence check for key lime before we move on Got to the next it. turn. Because Key Lime's just okay. out here, and I don't believe that Key Lime would just do nothing. Right? I agree. Key Lime's pretty smart. Yes, Key Lime's uh, the smartest Pokemon that you guys know. I rolled a 13. Okay. I think that's enough for Key Lime to do something on its own that it might intuit from Elodie. So I want to backtrack the initiative just a little bit to give Key Lime a thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to have... Key lime go for a confusion onto the moth. Okay. 19. That will hit. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. 11. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Yes? I'm confused on initiative order. Yeah, you are next, Schmidt. 
we had Elodie, but I feel up. like I backed up because I felt like with all this stuff happening, Key Lime should be able to do something. And I just didn't address that first. You're okay. gonna you're gonna go after Key Lime. Does that make sense? That, okay. That is super effective, by the way. It is super effective. Yes. So double. Does not resist. It no. does not. Oh, Ugg sucks. Remember? <laughs> no, it does not. Ugg does suck. I so, literally yeah. looked it up just in case. I was like, I don't think it does, but. So double your dice. Hog. Yeah. That's seventeen damage. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Venomoth gets pretty rattled. Is not doing well. It took two super effective attacks. Um, still flying. Still floating around, ready to drop some spores, but it's still out there. And Key Lime is just kind of like ready to intuit more. You have to make more intelligence checks unless LD breaks free and can give commands. Okay. Uh, Sounds good. It's Schmidt time. <laughs> oh <laughs> this boy. is the most hurt that Schmidt's been in like ever. <laughs> it's Schmidt time. Calvin is also okay. very hurt. Calvin also needs a hospital, I think. Yeah. How hurt is Calvin? Um, he a big chunk of his body got pretty badly burned. His shirt is on fire. Uh, <laughs> he's <laughs> just terrible. <laughs> so yeah. Is Calvin burned as well? Yes, or? he is struggling as well. You would like you would be in a similar situation if it wasn't that you were also poisoned. His grip on you is certainly loosened <laughs> after being hit by nine tails. He's a uh, he's a little bit more in self preservation mode. Okay, if. We had to guess Calvin's HP. Like, if you had to give me, like, green, yellow, red. Uh, low yellow? Okay. I am going to give Calvin my lumberry. Wow. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Compassion. Cool. Just a note. We've never established previously if berries work on people. We know that humans consume berries, but do their effects work? I'm mm. going to make the call and say yes now for narrative reasons. So we're going to stick to it. We're going to say that perhaps they're like less effective or maybe people generally need more of the berries. Um, like we're not going to. Calvin's not going to eat that berry and feel fine. He's going to have burnt skin, but we'll say that he's like not dehydrated and that he's not like. I don't know. I just he, want to get him out of in danger of dying. So. Yes. And that would do it. We're going to say that. Does it? Does everyone vibe with that? Is that okay? Because if we're going to do this now, yes. we just stick to it. Yeah. I'm good that with vibes. that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Berries, just like how Pokemon attacks do moderately less damage to people, people get moderately less effects from berries. I'm not going to say that potions work. I'm not going to go that far. Revives. <laughs> then, then, then you have Neosporin, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, okay. Schmidt feeds a berry to Calvin, who is struggling, and he sees it kind of like he obviously receives it because he needs to feel better. Um, and he does feel a little bit better. And he's definitely not trying to uh, kill Schmidt right now because he hurts a lot. Uh, anything okay. else for Schmidt? You want to roll for Quacko to break free? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what's the check I have to make on that? I think this turn is 13, next turn will be 12. No, this turn is 12, next turn will be 11. On what stat? Con. Okay, I rolled a 6. Okay. So. The Sun Spore is very effective. Venomoth is doing a good um, job. Schmidt already made an action, but can I request that he just, like, grabs Quacko, the paralyzed Quacko, and just lays down? Sure. Okay. Yeah. That is how I end my turn. Okay, Gimli. Uh, well, I do want to hand Schmidt off my lumberry. Okay, is is that possible? He's laying on the ground right yeah, now. Yeah, you can just you'll probably just put it in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can do that. Does um, that help counteract the poison and the burn? Like, how does I, stacking that work? I think it should. Yeah, I, should I think leave them that? his HP is still low. He still like feels bad, but it definitely helps the poison. Burn is tricky because it's like if you're burnt, you're burnt. Kind of like right, it's not right, gonna I magically know. cure, but he feels better about it. Yes. Okay, that's fine. All right. Oh, just to keep myself honest, did Schmidt take any like poison damage during his turn? Uh, the t- we technically just started initiative, and yeah, I'm gonna say no. I'll say no. Okay. All right. Now we gotta first. I'll do lasagna smackdown onto Venomoth to stop Ooh. this rain. Very cool. Oh my god. Okay. Does a 12 hit? Does not. 
Dang. Okay. So we're just going for Rot Blast with Trevor. Then. My rolls have been terrible. This yeah. It's hard to hit. Venomoth's flitting around. It's also not very big. So Smackdown missing isn't impossible. Does a 15 hit? 15 just barely hits. Okay. So rock damage. We double the dice, right? Yep. How many rocks first? Just two. Okay. And then we do uh, 21. 21. 20 points of rock type damage as two rocks pummel into Venomoth, sh shaking it. It's all shooken up. It's flittering, gets weaker. However, it's still hanging on just by a little bit. Okay. I believe that's it for Gimli. Yep. Okay. The. We're back to the top, so we're going to call them the baddies. The kids who witnessed uh, Ninetales scorch up their leader are done. <laughs> they they quit. Uh, they're dragging their um, their paralyzed friends just as close to the end of the arena trap as they can, and they are like very scared, and they want to go home and see their parents and tell them about the criminals that captured them. And Calvin... What's Calvin going to do? Uh, he's going to he's going to run over and join them. He's he's a little bit bigger than the other kids, so he's going to help carry the kids who are paralyzed. Um, this really does look like a terrible crime scene. Uh, they're uh, they're they're very much struggling right now and they're, I, they're, uh, they're trying to leave. Yes. Can I make a call out or do I need to wait for my turn? Let's hear it. I just want to call out to Elodie to tell her to put the arena trap away. Elodie is paralyzed. Oh, okay. I cannot do anything. I am sorry. Yeah. Um, maybe when this comes around. Um, Venomoth is still in go mode, however, not going to drop spores. I think Venomoth is going to whip up a gust to strike Key Lime, who seems like a big threat. So, uh, does a 14 hit? Uh, yes. Yes, that does. Okay. Dealing. The maximum amount of damage from a gust, 15 points of flying awesome. type damage into Key Lime as a little tiny little tornado whips it around. Poor baby Key Lime. Um, no. With the ninjas trying to flee, but they can't. Uh, I believe it's Elodie now. Elodie, can you break free? Let's find out. Uh, I rolled a 15. Yay! Elodie can now give commands. Okay. Yeah, I think I will uh, recall Key Lime here. Okay, just full recall? Yeah. Okay, you do that. And as you do that, uh, there are no more hostile targets, so the initiative has ended. They're on their way out. Um, they are a little terrified, having a straight up not a good time, but they're all running away from you. Uh, does the party do anything? Is Sam still paralyzed? Let's find out. There's a chance. She's not. She she is able to get up here and she's Wait. trying to undo her bound wrists. I'll I'll help her undo them. Okay, cool. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I um I also have bound wrists. Uh if you could help me out here. Uh yeah, I gotcha. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, this yeah. it's like Schmidt's just laying on the ground with the paralyzed Quacko, <laughs> and everybody's like, let's go help Sam. Is Quacko gonna be okay? Does Quacko need anything? Let's go check on him. Maybe a snack. Quacko, Quacko can roll. You can also give him a cherry berry or something. Quacko also, like, I don't know. Let's take a little, little bit of damage, too. Like, he still had his damage tacked on from the Skarmory fight. Yeah. Well, there are, uh, we're in a town, so I'm sure there's a Pokemon Center. Um, Are we in a town? Yeah, in a town, yeah. We're very close. Oh, never forest. mind. Sorry. They were, we're still on the route. You're to a town. Schmidt is also like, yeah, laying on the ground, like just out. Uh, you are very close to the one house that exists on this route. Oh god! All right. Well, I gotta. Schmidt's pretty injured. We gotta pick him up because someone decided to light him on fire. So. I'll Actually, he got hit by we spirit. won. You I don't it. know that emotionally we did win. 
No, I think, we didn't. I think emotionally, win. we lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the party's I in returned. a bad place, really. <laughs> I returned Soli. Okay. Soli's glad to be back resting again. Mm hmm. Why do we always have to like capture the the person that like assaults us? Why can't we just listen? I just I was trying to do a nice thing. I was like, they're you know we should they tell were, the Calvin parents were, if they escaped. Realistically, I'm gonna be honest. They were gonna ambush us anyway with Calvin. It didn't change. Like we were walking this path, and Cal like Calvin, it was destined encounter for Calvin to show up. All right, so. I do agree with you, yeah. Taking to it like otherwise, but this time I don't think it was the case. Well, now we're gonna walk into town, and everyone's gonna be <laughs> like, "Those are the people that assaulted our children," you yeah. know, like. To be <laughs> but fair, we didn't. everything we did was in self defense. They did jump us first. Yeah, but they're Although children. After we also defeated them, we captured them in an arena trap and forced them to come with us because they were gonna just get into more trouble. Right, and you're their parent, and you're the judge of that? That's fair. What if their parents are ninjas? That would be so funny. What if they're doing exactly what they should have been doing? I'm scared. Ninjas. Yeah, the whole town. They just ambushed anyway, us. Anyway, Schmidt's <laughs> laying on the ground coughing. Uh, Gimli's carrying him. Right. Okay. Yeah, carrying him. Yeah. Is, uh, is Quacko unparalyzed? I don't He never made the roll. I think oh, we didn't we discuss berries or yeah there's either berries and like with enough time like quacko can snap out of it for sure if since you guys are out of combat it's like yeah you can just give him a massage or something he'll be fine schmidt is still <laughs> holding quacko very close yeah that's fair um Ugh. yeah you're about halfway through route 113 Arbor town is in sight the first thing you see is a series of gardens uh you're gonna have to do a little bit more walking not saying you're gonna face an encounter, but uh, it's yeah. There's a little bit more to go. Are we not stopping at the rest house, or it's just yeah. a random person's house. What well, to us? Well, I think we have to ask her if we I can. So, yeah. we have someone who's burned and poisoned. There's a town right here, is there not? It's like over the horizon, and he's burned. We gotta at least okay. ask. Okay, okay. It's a person burned. <laughs> like, what are we not understanding about this? Uh, just return to his Pokeball and he'll make it's the journey. Yeah, what do you... <laughs> what is this? Like, <laughs> um, this house does have a sign. It says, Johanna's Refuge. Cindy knocks right. on the door. Okay. And Cindy's taking a little bit of responsibility for her actions. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> just a little. Just enough to knock on the door. Uh, opening the door is a middle-aged woman who you assume is Johanna. Um, she says, oh, travelers, I love guests. Come in, let me make you some tea. That would be great. Okay. Uh, we have a few friends yeah. with us. Why, and I kind of point to everybody. Yeah, we might need a little bit more, yeah, more than tea. <laughs> uh, she says, oh, I've been known to provide medical services. Let me see who's hurt. Oh, this one in my hands right here. <laughs> can we get a... Can we get a a visual on like how is Gimli carrying Schmidt? Yeah, true. Is it like baby style or is it like oh, it's baby, yeah, shoulder? no, it's, it's baby style. Okay, <laughs> uh, it's really funny because I think Schmidt is actually twice Gimli size. Yeah, so <laughs> so baby style. Yeah, that's <laughs> perfect. Um, yeah, uh, hands him over. Um, just, gonna, just hands him over. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna make a strength check actually. Uh, no. Yeah, she she owns it. Um, <laughs> jo Johanna's like, oh, poor baby boy. Oh, I, you'll be fine. And she like strokes Schmidt's hair and gets it a little bit messy. That's um, great. And she carries him inside, and she says, "You you all can follow." And she invites you in. Great. She immediately lays Schmidt on a bed. She applies some plant goo to him, and to she has to access like a part of his chest that got burned. She's like, "Is it okay if I touch you here?" Yes. Okay. Um, she she does that. She feels under your shirt to spread the ointment. It feels good. It has a cooling sensation to it. Um, she says, this is something that is produced from Lombre when they shed their pads. Uh, we can cut open the lily pads and it's, we get a very nice little topical solution. Oh. Uh, and she's she's rubbing it and uh, you feel pretty good. You feel like you probably just need some rest now. 
Um, she says, can I get you all a meal? Can I cook for you? Can I, can I do anything for you? Um, admittedly, it's a very nice little cabin. It's a familiar Hoenn architect, clearly, who did it. It starts with, like, a main foyer area that connects to a kitchen, and then it seems like there's some lodging. Like, this is kind of a bed and breakfast. Uh, there's no travelers visiting right now, except for Johanna, who lives here, and she has a little upstairs loft area. Okay. Well, Schmidt pulls out his last Moo Moo milk that he got from his mom and just starts sipping it. Okay. Roll me... Just roll a d20. Oh, no. The milk is fine. 18. 18. Yeah. Um, Schmidt misses his mom and he cries a little. Oh. He's uh, a little nostalgic. Yeah. Out. yeah. So just a little bit. He, he's, high, he's, you know, holding back a little bit, but he misses her. She, she took care of him and she gave him these milks and it's the last milk and uh, they're very good. Yeah. I also want. Sorry. 2d12 HP, correct? <laughs> uh, I'm going to say 1d12 because it's a person. Okay. I get five. Nice. You're feeling better for sure. I want um, one person to make a perception check. I'll that's, do it. That's not Schmidt. Okay, yeah, Cindy. Oh, no. Love that. <laughs> Perceptions plus one. That's a nine. It's a nine. You notice that uh, Schmidt's milk bottle has a really cute label on it that has like a picture of a cow Pokemon. That's all. That's cute. <laughs> There's some text on it, but you don't read it because you don't read it. Yeah, and Johanna is offering to some hospitality. Do you do you accept? That I think sounds so. great. Okay, yeah. She asks, "Is anyone here a vegetarian?" No, I'm definitely not. Nope. No. Nope. You guys better have had this on your character sheets the whole time because you knew oh, this yeah. was going to come Never up. Be prepared. <laughs> Um, she says, great. Tonight I'm serving some slow poke tail fillet, so I hope you enjoy. Uh, and it's true. She serves up some little pink steaks that have like a, a delicious little berry drizzle glaze on them and it oh. serves some fresh vegetables. And uh, oh, this is lovely. Yeah. She whips it up. It, you know, it takes like half an hour. Uh, yeah. and, and you're all just resting and relaxing the whole time. The sun is, the sun is starting to set. Um, there's still soot falling outside like rain. Um, but it's overall just a very quiet time. It's very pleasant. Ugh, good to have a little bit of a brief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a reprieve. If there's nothing else you do with your night, you may go to sleep. She is just entertaining you. She offers books and stuff and magazines. But if I want to make sure that everyone gets their checks in before we just say long rest. Like, is there anything that you may want I to ask Johanna? Wanna ask about maybe other travelers that have passed through sure since cindy's parents were at the beginning of the first drought we went through the beginning of the desert yeah let me roll a history for her it's a 14 she says oh well i, I get a lot of travelers around here are who are you asking about um do you do you volunteer more information i provide a picture oh yeah um, I still have that picture. She looks at the picture. She says, mm, we get a lot of couples that come through here. They definitely didn't stay here, but I want to say I saw two people who look just like this here just two weeks ago. They were, they were walking through the route and they, they, had, a, they had a pep in their step. They were off to, to go see someone or do something. I'm not sure. And she hands you back the picture. Thanks. Because of course. This is a pretty slow route here on 113, so I usually just sit at the window and, and watch the sit fall. It's very calming. My, uh, my partner, who's away right now, he's a master flute smith. So if you... Uh, we often have travelers who come here and pick up soot sacks from us, and they just run around in the, in the leaves and, and collect as much soot as they can, and they come back, and we, we've fashioned these flutes for them. And she shows oh. you a cabinet of flutes that are made from soot. It's very interesting. They wow. come in a variety of colors. Very cool. He says, yes. Sometimes they have mag not magical. They have mystical effects on Pokemon that hear them. Huh. Hmm. Uh, she says, I'd be happy to give you Sootsack if you'd like, and you can collect for yourself, or you can purchase one directly from me. I do have to make money here somehow. Of course. How, how much, much are that? the, the um, flutes? Uh, Sorry. Yeah, how much are the flutes? Uh, she says, well, they vary in price. I can get you a blue flute 
for 25, a red flute for 50, a yellow flute for 50, or a black or a white flute for 100. I can tell you more about them if you're curious. I am curious. Yes. She says, great. They're very fragile, so you have to be very careful with them. But the blue flute, mm. it, the rumor has it that it tends to wake any sleeping Pokemon. The red flute um, can cure a Pokemon who has been unrightfully infatuated with another Pokemon. She says, the yellow flute, if you play a tune with it, it will snap a Pokemon out of confusion. The black flute uh, will make it so that wild Pokemon are less likely to encounter you, and the opposite is true of the white flute. I'll take the black flute. Great. That'll be 100 Poke Dollars, please. Absolutely. Just thank you very much. You are now in possession of a black flute. I will take the yellow flute. That will be 75, please. Nope, just kidding. 50. <laughs> That'll be 50. Okay. Cool. Thank you very much, she says. She's well, very pleased. You. She says, I'm assuming you would like to stay here, or are you going to continue your journey to Fall Arbor? Well, I think we should let our friend here rest, especially, and we've had a pretty rough day, so. Yeah, we'll spend the night if that's all right. She says, by all means. Anything else you want to do or ask of her before you lawn rest? I don't think so. I want to hear from everyone. Uh, uh, Schmidt is crying with a milk bottle in his mouth. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, I'd like to, if I can briefly talk to Sam. Sure. Is this, before we turn in. Do you want to pull her aside or do you, is it okay if the party members hear this? Not like. It's kind of everybody. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like it's a private conversation, but like, yes, I'm not like going to another room or something. Okay. Yeah. You can talk with her. She says, Hi, Ellie. I haven't talked to you in a while. Uh, I'm just going to go up to her and be like, Sam, um, I just wanted to apologize for my perhaps abrasive behavior these past couple days. I might've jumped to some. Incorrect conclusions about your involvement with uh with NRG back when we were in uh, Jagged Pass. Um, her eyes kind of light up, and she says, "Oh, Ellie, that's so sweet for you to say. Thank you. Um, yeah, don't worry about it. I've I spent enough time with you all. I I know the content of your character, and she gives cool. you a nice smile. Um, Elodie, roll perception." Gotcha. Awesome. I rolled a 21. Okay, quick pull aside. Oh, what the f***? Okay. As you are talking to Sam, and she is smiling at you nicely, um, there's a window outside. And uh, you're having a little discussion, and you just notice out of the corner of your your eye, you see... Off in the distance, probably about 40 feet, 50 feet away, with the sun setting, the evening glow arising, there is a pair of reddish feline eyes that are looking in the window from a little ways out. Uh, Sam's back is to the wall, so she does not see this. And we, hey. may, we may return to the other room. Anywho, with that, we can all go to bed. Everyone's content? Yeah. Sounds uh, good. Well... One more thing. Is yes. there, are they growing berries around the this house or in the house or anything? Not in the house. There are wild berries in the forest for sure with how fertile oh, okay. and But they're the not like growing any specifically here. There's berries in a jar. Um, they remind okay. you of your family's berries. They may in fact very well be. They're used for cooking and stuff. Um, nothing growing. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Ready for bed. As always, thank you for listening to Dunsparce and Drampa. We're so pleased with how far this show has gone, and it wouldn't have gotten this way if it wasn't thanks to all of you wonderful listeners. If you'd like to help pitch in a little bit extra, keep the show going, you can join us on Patreon, where all of our wonderful subscribers get access to bonus content, including a recently recorded AI-generated movie script about the Quacko Paco that all five of us read blind with our novel, genuine reactions. It is a very fun time. If something like that interests you please consider joining the patreon we have lots of other things that we'd love for you to do as well we have our twitter page we have our discord server all of that good stuff is at linktree slash dunsparce l-i-n-k-t-r dot e-e slash dunsparce we can't wait to see you again next tuesday 
Is that that weird rest house? <laughs> yes, the lady that won't let you leave. Oh, true. Oh, God, that's going to have some weird story implications, isn't it? Cut that out. <laughs> Cut that out of the, the podcast, but yes. That is. 